Yes, thank you, Chair. Obviously, these, these riots were, were a terrifying ordeal for those people caught up in the, um, in the, in the midst of them. Um, and we unequivocally condemn that um, disorder and violence that, um, that we saw on our streets and also do add our um, thanks to the efforts of the, um, the police and, um, and, and fire services in tackling these disturbances. I don't think it's just the police and fire services, although obviously that's been the focus of today's meeting, that we, that we need to, uh, that, that we need to um, give our congratulations to the responses of individual local authorities, of <laughs> volunteers that we saw helping in clean-up operations and some real examples of communities coming together. I think we should also put on, on record our, um, our praise uh, for those. And it's... Um, it's right that we do investigate properly the, um, the, the um, policing uh, tactics and the, um, and, and the numbers deployed during these, um, during these disturbances. I think, as I said earlier in the question-answer exchange, um, there's been widespread praise and support for the way the police um, handled this in the, in the latter part of the, um, the disturbances when there were sufficient numbers of um, police on, on the streets, but there, were, that there was genuine frustration in communities affected that, um, um, that um, the police were, were less effective in the, um, in the early nights of the, the riots when, uh, uh, when the, the situation was, was spreading. I think as Kit Malthouse said, earlier during the exchange, the numbers do matter. It's not just a question of dreaming up what, um, what equipment would be best and, uh, and so on. The numbers do matter. I think we saw that very effectively, that when we had the 16,000 officers, the, um, the, um, they had a, a very effective role um, in putting, this, um, putting these disturbances down without recourse to uh, um, over heavy um, British tactics or, um, or, or um, lethal equipment or, or whatever. We saw an effective police operation once the numbers were there. I think in the light of that, we really should be very fearful of any idea of um, cuts to police budgets and, um, and cuts in, um, in police numbers at the, at the current time. I think we have seen that numbers do matter at times like this. And certainly, um, we believe um, from our group there should be a, a moratorium on um, police cuts for the current time while we've seen such dreadful disturbances. Um, what we do need to ensure is that while savings continue to be made and efficiency savings can be made, that money needs to actually be um, put back into investing in um, a better police, uh, police service and more, more effective police services. We also need to ask why these disturbances um, occur, these appalling riots occur. It's never excusable, this type of, um, of behaviour. Um, there's no justification whatsoever for it. However, to stop this happening again, we do need to understand why. And the evidence from around the world shows that the more divided a society is, the greater the gap between the richest and the poorest, the more likely crimes of all types are likely to occur. That's not to justify those crimes, but it's a sad fact that the more divided a society, uh, the more human beings are likely to do terrible things to one another and to their, to their communities. So I think we do need to tackle the underlying economic and social issues um, that led to um, such a, an explosion of, um, of anger and such a terrifying ordeal for, um, for the people caught up, in it, caught up in it. We also need to be looking at the, um, the issue of gang culture and the ongoing work to tackle that as well. And that's not just a policing issue, as we heard this morning in, in the exchange. And that does cost money. So whilst we're fighting to ensure that um, funding is there and we don't see cuts in activities um, that the police need to um, be pursuing, we also need to be applying that, um, that same approach um, in terms of government funding for the boroughs so that they can carry out their vital work as well in actually tackling some of these problems around, around gang culture, tackling some of the social and economic issues. If we simply see this as a, as a public order 
issue, we will never really get to the um, get to the, the heart of the of the problem and prevent it happening again. So yes, we need to be looking at, um, at police tactics and police numbers and so on, but also we need to be looking at the wider social and economic questions um, that lead to disturbances. Of this, of this type. It was a terrifying ordeal for Londoners. We don't want it to happen again. So let's all make a contribution um, through the, 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 the full um, independent and community, the, the, um, the, the full review programs that are take, taking place. We need to play a part in that as an assembly. We need to engage constructively with what's going on to make sure that we learn the lessons and these terrifying scenes um, in London this August don't happen again. Thank you.